Thoma and Venti chilling at the beach. This is the best. You're lucky that you've won. Hehe. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. The others must be furious. Ha 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 ha. Told you all I win. You just got lucky this time. It's not about luck. Really? Dilok and Ayato walking towards them. What are you two standing around here? We're having a chat. Can't waste some good time chatting here. Let's go for a swim. Ayato grabbed Thoma's hand and running towards the sea. So. What are your plans? Let's go get some coconuts. Let's go. Dilok grabbed Venti's hand and started walking. Meanwhile last night. At Tomo and Kazuha's house. Tomo entered the house. Took you long enough. Tomo heavily breathing. I've arrived. Um babe. You don't look good. Do you want me to get you some water? No I'm okay. Let's go. Babe I think you need a breather. Let's go sat on the couch. No I'm fine. So let's go. I said let's go to the couch. Okay. The two going in the living room. Kazuha handed a cup of water to Tomo. Here. Thanks babe. Tomo drinking. You really rushed home didn't you? Cough cough. Ha 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 ha. How cute. Babe are you toying with me? Of course not. Kazuha sat on Tomo's lap. Why would I be toying with you on a time like this? Kazuha taking off his clothes. Blush. Like what you see. How many drink did you say you had? Three. What's the flavor? Find out to yourself. Tomo kissed Kazuha on the lips and placed him on the couch. Taste good. I'm glad you like it. Tomo started touching Kazuha's body. Go easy on me. I can't guarantee that babe. Well rough is fine too. Great choice. Tomo eating up Kazuha's nipple. Ugh. This is gonna be a long night. Tomo kissing Kazuha on the lips. At Chongyan and Zinkyu's house. Chongyan entered the house. I'm home. Welcome back. Your things aren't outside anymore. Are you done working? Yeah I've just finished and put them away. Too bad. Why what's wrong Yun Yun? I wanted to see you work. How sweet of you my love. You might be tired for coming home all of a sudden. Have a rest on the sofa for a bit Yun Yun. I'm alright really. No have a sit. Zinkyu slightly pushed Chongyun onto the couch. Now wait here for a bit. Where are you going? I've prepared a special gift for you. A gift? Yes. So be still and wait for me to return. Alright. Zinkyu going upstairs. I wonder. What kind of gift did he prepare? Five minutes later. Zinkyu coming downstairs. Yun Yun I'm back. Him seeing Chongyun fell asleep while reading a book. Hum. Zinkyu sat down on the floor between Chongyun's legs. He's sleeping so soundly. Time for some fun. Zinkyu touching Chongyun's legs. Ugh. Zinkyu taking off Chongyun's pants. Chongyun waking up. Ha. Huh. Finally you're awake. Zinkyu laid his head on Chongyun's lap. Babe. What on earth? Shh. Zinkyu started eating up Chongyun's duck. Blush. Babe you don't need to do this or else you'll get choked. Zinkyu gripped Chongyun's legs. Ugh. Chongyun held Zinkyu's head. At Sino and Tainari's house. Sino entered the house. Babe I'm home. Are you still at the tub? Sino entered the bathroom. Not here. Sino going upstairs and entered the bedroom. Him seeing Tainari laying on the bed tied with a red ribbon with no clothes on. Blush. You've arrived. Honey what is this? It's my Valentine's gift for you. For me. Am I seeing this right? You aren't dreaming. Thank you for the meal. Sino jumped on the bed. Tainari flew in the air and landed on the bed. Whoa. What a lovely gift I have. Indeed. I'll be having all of this peace for myself. Sino taking off his shirt. Hurry darling. I'm getting impatient. Hold on babe. Untie me already. Oh I well babe. Just give me a second. Sino taking off his pants. Blush. Someone's red. Hurry babe. My babe can't wait to be eaten. Sino kissed Tinery on the cheek. You smell so delicious. Sino pulled Tinery's waist. Are you ready baby? Oh I am. Sino touching Tainari's lower body while kissing his lips. Ah. Uh. Sino kissing him harder. Babe untie me. No. Sino kissing Tainari's body. Ah. Uh. Babe. Not yet. I'll untie you at the end. What? Didn't see that coming huh babe? Come on baby. My hands hurt. I won't allow it. Pretty please. No. Sino started touching Tainari's lower body. Adito and Gorao's house. 
Ito entered the house and shouted, Babe I'm home now, where are you? Let's go on a date, huh? Where is he? Don't tell me he went out without me. Ito running upstairs, him knocking at the bedroom door. Babe. Gorao suddenly opened the door. Surprise. Ito looked up and down at Gorao. Blush. Ito hugged Gorao. I thought you left without me. Why would I leave without you? Gorao kissed Ito on the cheeks. The two entered the bedroom. Babe. What? What are these on the bed? It's my surprise gift. These candles and petals. Smells good right? Ito pushed Gorao on the bed. Hey. Ito laid on top of Gorao. Babe. Ugh. You're heavy. Gorao noticed something poking him at the back. What is that? Babe you smell so freaking good. Babe something is poking me behind my ass. Ito slapped Gorao's ass. What the heck that hurts. Ito touching Gorao's lower body. Blush. Would you look at that? You're already loosen up. Did you prepare yourself at the bath? You're not saying anything. So it must be a yes. This is embarrassing. My baby is so cute. Babe you're starting to get heavy. Ito kissing Gorao's neck. At Alhatham and Kaveh's house. Alhatham entered the house. Welcome home. Alhatham seeing Kaveh wearing women's underwear. Like what you see. What? Where'd you get these? Oh you know I bought it a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago? Yeah. Without me knowing. I'm great at keeping secret and I. I can't believe this. Aren't you excited at all? Come here. Alhatham grabbed Kaveh's waist and pulled him onto the living room. We're doing it here? No. Alhatham puts his things at the couch. Where then? At the bath? I can assure you I'm all clean and prepared. Shh. Don't you make me silent. Just shut up for a while. How rude. Kaveh pushed Alhatham away. What? Kaveh walking past Alhatham. Babe hold on. Kaveh ignoring him. Hey I said wait. Alhatham grabbed Kaveh's hand. What? I'm sorry okay. Sorry my ass. Let go of me. Kaveh trying to free himself. Let go. I'm not in the mood anymore. Alhatham slammed Kaveh onto the table and kissed him. Ugh. Get off me. Kaveh pushing Alhatham away. Stop moving. Get off. Kaveh continued pushing Alhatham away. I hate you. Release me. You love me. What are you saying? Let go. I hate you so much. I love you the most. Blush. You. Alhatham touching Kaveh's leg. At Razor and Bennett's house. Razor entered the house. I'm home. Welcome home darling. I brought some flowers and chocolates for you my love. Or you didn't have to. Bennett kissed Razor's cheek. Dinner is ready. Let's go eat. The two entered the kitchen. Smells wonderful. The two sat down and started eating. Eight minutes later. The two finished eating. That was delicious. That's good to hear. Bennett cleaning the table and started washing the dishes. Razor hugged Bennett from behind. Babe. Yes. What about dessert? Dessert? I didn't prepare any. Are you expecting some? Do you want me to buy some cakes after this? There's no need to buy some. Razor stared at Bennett. We already have one now. Where? Plus I won't let you go outside wearing this. Razor lift Bennett's skirt. Blush. Bennett's thoughts. I forgot I'm wearing this made dress. Alright the dishes are done. Here babe. Put this away now. After this can I get my dessert? Yes. Razor putting away the dishes. Bennett going in the living room. Razor hugged Bennett from behind. I'm done. That's fast. Can I have some dessert now? Hum. Alright. Bennett kissed Razor on the lips. At Ayato and Thoma's house. Thoma entered the house. I'm here. Where are you hiding them? Babe there's no one here. Where is it? I know you're hiding someone somewhere. A maid walking by. Excuse me. Can I ask? Do we have a guest that came here the whole day? There's none sir. Are you sure? Yes sir. Can you double check it for me please? Yes sir. The maid leaving. Babe there really is no one here. I need to check one important room. The two heading at the bedroom. Ayato covered the bedroom door. Don't. See. You're hiding someone. Babe I plan to have a vacation with you tomorrow and this is what I get. You bringing someone. Thoma entered the bedroom. Him seeing a lot of valentine decorations. This is why I told you not to come home yet. I wasn't done preparing everything together. Thoma looking at Ayato. Surprise. You kidding me. 
Soma hug Ayato. Don't scare me like that. You got that. Yes master I won't. Ayato hugged Thoma back. At Zayo and Eva's house. Zayo entered the house. I'm home. Babe where are you? Hey baby. You really didn't change haven't you? Well this is my gift after all. A lovely gift. Here babe. Zayo handed a bouquet of flowers to Eva. My gosh. How pretty. Zayo lift Eva up. Whoa. You're more prettier. Eva feeling something hard poking him. Someone's excited. You know me. Zayo going upstairs while carrying Eva. Them going in the bedroom. Looks like you've prepared the bed also. You know me. Silly. Zayo placed Eva on the bed. Petals are flying everywhere. Everything smells so good. It does. If everything smells good. I bet you'll taste great. Someone's starving. I'm quite hungry by rushing here. What are you waiting for? Dig in. Thank you for the meal. Zayo going underneath Eva's skirt. Ugh. Stop. Eva push Zayo away. Baby we're just getting started. Zayo taking off his shirt. Make sure to not make any mess. I can't guarantee that. Then you'll clean things up after. Of course baby. I'll clean every spot including you. Zayo kissed Eva's neck. At Zongli and Child's house. Zongli entered the house. Darling I'm home. Child shouted. I'm up here. Zongli going upstairs. Child opened the bedroom door. Hello my dear. You're finally home. Yes I'm home. Like my surprise. Indeed I love it. The two went in the bedroom. Zongli seeing a lot of love decoration all over the room. Wow. I know right. Child kissed Zongli on the lips. Did you have dinner yet? I did. So dessert is the only one missing. It's not missing. It's right in front of me already. Zongli grabbed Child's ass. Oh. I didn't know I was the dessert. Well you knew now. Zongli lift Child up and placed him on the bed. I hope this dessert fills me up in no time. Ehem. I mean fill you up. How naughty. Zongli kissed Child on the lips. Child taking off Zongli's clothes. Someone's excited. Well you've seduced me. Did I? Zongli touching Child's lower body. Ugh. There won't be any sleeping tonight. Ha. Child kissing Zongli on the lips. At Dilok and Venti's house. Dilok entered the house. Him going upstairs. Dilok entered the bedroom. What the? How'd you get here so fast? Did you teleport or something? Why aren't you naked yet? I was about to take it off then you suddenly showed up. I don't see you taking it off now. You really rushed here just to eat me didn't you? Hurry up and take it off. You hungry hungry man. Dilok rushed towards Venti. You're taking quite your time. What? Are you gonna give me a hand? Of course. Dilok taking off Venti's clothes. Don't just suddenly take it off like that. Don't worry. I'll get you new ones. Dilok kissing Venti on the lips while taking off his clothes. Venti touching Dilok's body. Look at you. You started it. Yeah right. Dilok touching Venti's lower body. Ugh. Stop. Too fast. Dilok kissing Venti's neck. Not there. Where then? On the lips. What a baby. I'm your baby dummy. A whining baby that is. Hey. Venti hitting Dilok's shoulders. Haha. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dilok kissing Venti's lips. Venti wrapped his hands around Dilok. At Scaramouche and Hezao's house. Scaramouche entered the house. Babe I'm here. Where are you? Hezao shouted. Come and find me for your surprise. I see where this is going. Scaramouche going upstairs and headed to the bedroom. Him going in. Babe. Scaramouche looking around. Where is he? Hezao jumped behind Scaramouche. Surprise. You. Scaramouche staring at Hezao. Like what you see. Did you wrap yourself up? Yes. Scaramouche grabbed Hezao's waist. What a treat. Enjoy the whole night. Hezao kissed Scaramouche on the lips. The two went in the bedroom. Hezao taking off Scaramouche's clothes and started kissing him. Darling. Yes. Aren't you gonna untie me from this? No. But my skin is feeling uncomfortable. I'm not untying you until we finish. What? You told me this was my surprise right? Yes. So I can take it off whenever I want to or not. Oh no. Scaramouche touching Hezao's lower body. Ugh. Looks like you've already prepared yourself. I did your work for you. Did you now? Scaramouche licking Hezao's lower body. At Ryathsli and Nuvelet's house. Ryathelai entered the house. Babe I'm home. 
Ryothelai going upstairs. Baby your man is here. Ryothelai entered the bedroom. Welcome home my sweetheart. Blush. Ha. Huh. Well. Your thing is up. Babe don't call it a thing. Oops. Ryothelai standing in front of Nouvellet. Need a hand? I could sure do. Nouvellet taking off Ryothelai's pants. Ryothelai's duck smacked at Nouvellet's face. Gosh. It's hard. Wanna know why it's hard? Because I look so yummy and I. Indeed. Nouvellet started eating up Ryothelai's duck. Ugh. Babe. Yes. I think you should stop. I don't want to make a mess on your face. It's fine. Ryothelai pushed Nouvellet onto the bed. Listen to me now. Um. Nouvellet touching Ryothelai's lower body. Ugh. That's it. You're asking for it. Ryothelai puts his fingers inside Nouvellet. Ugh. I hope you're ready. Why did you suddenly? Ryothelai kissing Nouvellet hard on the lips. At Kiao and Albedo's house. Kiao entered the house. Baby I'm home. I brought some gifts with me. I'm up here. Kiao looking up at Albedo. Babe. Him seeing Albedo naked. What are you waiting for? I'm coming babe. Kiao going upstairs. The two went in the bedroom. Kiao kissing and hugging Albedo. I miss you so much. You're crushing me. Babe you smell wonderful as always. You perv. Don't call your boyfriend a perv. But you are a perv. A really big pervert. Kiao smacked Albedo's ass. Hey what the hell you hitting my bum. They look so soft and tender. Blush. You and your big mouth. Shall we begin? Albedo kissing Kiao on the lips. Kiao lift Albedo up while kissing him. Albedo kissing him harder. Can't breathe. Babe take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Albedo hit Kiao's shoulder. Who said you're allowed to leave? No one babe. Kiao kissed Albedo's cheeks and place him on the bed. You better not mess things up. I won't my precious. Kiao started eating Albedo's chest. 